The Too Scary Story by Bethany Dini Marguya, read by me, Miss Sarah. One dark night in a house on a hill. Papa asks, "How about a bedtime story?" Yes, exclaims Walter. Make it a scary story, says Grace. I've got my wand. All right, says Papa. One night, two brave explorers and their dog were walking home through the forest. It was very, very dark. Yes, the spookiest, creepiest kind of dark, says Grace. Too scary, says Walter. Well. As they ran out of the woods, hundreds of teeny twinkling lights appeared. Fireflies! Walter cheers. Papa, fireflies are not scary, says Grace. I want to see bears. Just a minute, says Papa. Beyond the fireflies, deep in the bushes, crept all kinds of creatures. I can hear them all breathing," whispers Grace. "Too scary," says Walter. "Don't worry; those creatures were just settling into bed for the night. Sleep tight," Walter whispers. "I hope that's not the end of the story," mutters Grace. "Oh, there's more," says Papa. "Not everyone was ready for bed." Faintly at first, and then louder, the children heard footsteps. Don't worry, Walter. I have my wand," says Grace. Their dog growled a long, low growl. Just behind them, on the path, was a shadow. Does your wand work on shadows? Whispers Walter. I'm not sure," Grace whispers back. The children dashed home, up the stairs, and into their room, slamming the door behind them. Papa, nothing in the closet, please," begs Grace. "Or under the bed," whispers Walter. "Papa, are you there?" Creak. The bedroom door began to open. Be gone, shadow monster! Grace shouts. It worked. I turned the evil shadow into Papa. Grace says. I wasn't scared at all. Adds Walter. Um, Papa, can we sleep with the light on? Asks Grace. I have a better idea. Says Papa. Good night, my brave explorers. The end.